support the joint PD for two random variable x and y is given by function of x y is equal to this one. Compute expected value of x. Expected value of x y. Expected value of x plus y. Expected value of x plus minus y. So for this one, we start with expected value of x, which is given by, but this one is continuous. So that means for this one is we are going to see we are going to integrate two times from 0 to 1 0 to 1 x we substitute with this one so times 4xy dx dy so which is equal to from 0 to 1 they grow from 0 to 1 0 to 1 4 x can't y dx dy so when we integrate so we this one for is constant so we can see for integral from 0 to 1 0 to 1 x squared y dy dx so for this one when we integrate y so we are going to get 4 integral from 1 0 to 1, then x squared, y squared over 2, from 0 to 1, dx. So when we substitute this one, we are going to get integral from 0 to 1, x squared over 2, dx. So when we substitute, we integrate this one again, so we are going to get 4 times x cubed over 6 to 0 to 1 so we are going to get 4 over 6 which is equal to 2 over 3 so we are through with this one we come here expecting value of x y is given by you can see it from negative infinity to, inf to infinity from negative infinity to infinity x y function of x y dy dx so we are going to say when you start here we are going to say integral from 0 the limit is that from 0 to 1 0 to 1 x y times 4 x y dy dx which is equal to 4 is constant so you can keep 4 outside Integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. When you multiply this one to this one, so I'm going to get x squared, y squared, dx, dy. So when you integrate dy, so I'm going to get 4 from 0 to 1, x squared, y cubed over 3, from 0 to 1. Which is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x squared over 3 dx so when we integrate dx so we are going to get 4 times x cubed over 9 which is equal to from limit is equal to from 0 to 1 so we are going to get 4 over 9 so we are through with this one we come here summation of x plus y so that means this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 0 to 1 x plus y times times 4xy function of xy times dx dy so you can see Degro from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. This one when multiply by this one, so we are going to get 4x squared y plus 4xy squared dx dy. So when we start by integrating y, we can start with x. So we can start with x. So we are going to get 
integral from 0 to 1, 4x cubed over 3 plus 4x squared y over 2 from 0 to 1 dy. So, so we are going to get integral from 0 to 1, 4y over 3 plus 2y squared dy. So for this one, so we are going to get, when we integrate this one, so we are going to get 4y squared over 6 plus 2y cubed over 3 from 0 to 1. So I'm going to get 4 over 6 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 4 over 3. That is the final answer of this one. So we come here, you see, summation of expected value of x minus y. So for this one, so we are going to say, we are going to say is equal to I go from negative infinity to infinity, negative infinity to infinity, x minus y, f x y dx. So we are going to say, it go from 0 to 1, they go from 0 to 1, x minus y, 4x y dx dy. When we integrate for D we can start we can start with we can multiply this is so I'm gonna get zero to degree from zero to one zero to one four x squared y minus four x y squared dx dy we can integrate for dx so we are going to get degree from zero to one four x cubed over 3 times y, 4x squared over 2 times y squared from 0 to 1. So we are going to get the degree from 0 to 1, 4y over 3 minus 2y squared dy. When the degree for dy, so we are going to get 4y squared over 6 minus 2y cubed over 3. Limit from 0 to 1. So we are going to get 4 over 6 minus 2 over 3, which is equal to 0. That is the final answer. Can you like, subscribe, like, and share? Thank you.